right, we are going to... Once the motorbike goes past. So I'm going to show you how to do a walk animation using Wick Editor. So we've already set up the stage with the character there and we've got our little background, our little Minecraft style background. So let's get started. So first thing is we're going to put a little bend in our legs and arms using the path tool. Put those in. Now it looks like the, um, the cursor isn't actually touching the objects, but for some reason when it records, the cursor looks like it's separate from the actual objects. First thing we're going to do is extend the background layer right across to about 20 frames and then we're going to copy the first frame of the character. Now you don't have to select the character, you can just copy and paste the whole frame if you want to and then we'll paste the character into the second frame. We want to turn on our onion skin so we can see the frames before it and then we're going to select just the top half of the body using the cursor tool and then we're going to move the top half about half a head width and then we're going to match up the legs and then we just repeat the process um, making sure that we keep the bottom foot in the same spot the foot that's on the ground we keep that in the same spot until it can no longer stay there and then we will lift it off the ground once we've planted the other foot. So let's take a look at each frame in the walking cycle. So we've got this first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and the fifth one is essentially the same as the first one, and then we repeat. And we just keep copying and pasting the walk cycle until we end up with as many walk cycles as we need. Making sure that we line up the foot with the previous foot when we copy and paste our frames. So I've noticed there's an extra little frame in there so I've gone in and just taken that extra one out. Now that that's done, let's just finish animating this off with a little bit of something extra, something different at the end. And don't forget to export your finished product at the end and let's have a look at what we've got. And here's some other examples for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.
Thank you.